Oh. My. Gosh. Alright, so backstory. Before I started this episode, but after I finished the last one, I decided to read up a little bit on Thousand Year Door just to make sure there weren't any secrets that I was missing out on so I could cover everything. Holy crow! I didn't even realize until just now that there's a little thing called a super guard that exists in the game. So essentially, you know how last episode, I think it was, that I skipped the action command tutorial? I should not have done that, because every time I've played, I've skipped that, because I assumed it was exactly the same as the original Paper Mario. And for the most part, it is, except... Uh, when you're defending against enemy attacks, if you press A at just the right time, then you'll uh, decrease the damage you take by one. If you press B at a B in at the exact right time, it's a bit stricter timing than pressing the A button. But if you press B at just the right time, you will take no damage from the attack and reflect the attack back at the enemy. How did I never know this? I do not know. But anyhow, hey guys, Colorful Artie's back for more Paper Mario Fuzz in your door. And what was that? Whoa, what was that? Ooh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! That is a dragon. And that is an awesome animation as well. Totally incredible! I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy! We just started and already there's intrigue! Come on, Mario, let's go! <laughs> and Goombella's still panting because she's still in danger. So, welcome to Petal Meadows. Those rocks look weird, we'll be coming back to those later. And we can get a mushroom, sweet. Make sure you interact with stuff in here. All right. Four Goombas, cool. We can try out at Super Guarding. I have liter I literally did not know Super Guarding was in this game. Ooh, also this shows off something. Unlike in the first Paper Mario, in this the enemies can actually have items and even badges sometimes. So that guy has a dried shroom. We're gonna get rid of him. We don't want him using that. All right, let me try Super Guarding. Alright, that didn't work. Never do that. And of course they're attacking Goombella. Man, we are getting so many star points. This should give us our first level up. Sure enough. Level up! So that completely refills you and your partner's HP, your FP, and your star power meter. And now we can increase our HP by 5, our FP by 5, or our BP by 3. BP generally tends to be the best one to update, but I don't really have any badges right now, so I'm updating FP. I can deal with low HP for a while. Especially if I can get good at Super Guarding. Red block means badge. And we get the close call badge when Mario's in danger, cause enemies to miss sometimes. We don't have enough BP to equip that, I just realized. Maybe I should have upgraded BP. Oh well. <laughs> we have Pretty Lucky instead, which works wonders. I like in the original Paper Mario how if you kill a Paragoomba while it's still a Paragoomba, it'll just die instead of having to lose its wings first. Minor fame. That little heart the guy dropped will raise both our HP by one. Take that. Never jump on a spiky Goomba's head. Yeah, I like showing off all the stylish moves all the time. <laughs> Let's see. If we take this pipe downwards... Takes us up here. Unfortunately, we can't get that just yet. 
And this is a coin block. If you've played a Mario game, you've probably encountered those before. Now here's a well-hidden item. So you see these guys with the eyes. Most of the time if you hit them, nothing happens. If you hit this one, it pops into the ground. Keep hitting it into the ground over and over again, and this pops out. We get a horse tail! A plant found in Petal Meadows restores free HP. That'll be very important for the recipes later on, so remember where that is. Oh, one more fiend Mario! If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? Oh, I should probably tattle more. I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, and by the way, Mario, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with A. Alright. Good advice. Sure enough, there's a coin. Oh, I didn't get the first strike. That's embarrassing. Alright, super guard attempt number two. Okay, the timing on that is tight. I think you have eight frames for pressing the A button to defend, and I think you have three frames for super guarding is what I read. Two or three frames. So it's really tight on the window, but... I do want to get good at Super Guardian, and wow, I forgot about how many star points you get when you're really low level, but it makes sense. Alright, check that, coin in there. Well, that was magic. Oh, and here's a really cool part about Paper Mario Files in your door as well. You can go in the background. Also, for some reason, jumping in the background makes you go faster. Anyhow, switch in the background. Wonder where this does. <laughs> Gotta love that. And if we keep going, Star Piece is ours. I like Star Pieces like that, where they're just like in interesting places, and not just like, oh, it's hidden behind this pole. That's where Paper Mario 1 did a really good job. Ew, a mystery! Who knows what this does? Take a chance and find out. I'd kind of rather not. Okay, we gotta almost be out of... I yeah, we can hold one more item. I feel like Mario can jump that fence, but I guess not. Anyhow, welcome to Petalburg! This is like the Koopa Village of the game. But more than just Koopas live here. Welcome, travelers! Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg! Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yepity, once that dragon hook tail was spotted flying around this area... Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge fiend we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so, anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these fiends called the Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm, nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should ch go check it out. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help! <laughs> I love how sassy Goombella is. This is Petalburg. It's nice and warm here, and the air is so clean. Such a peaceful hamlet. There's a shop and an inn, so you buy and stuff and rest. Oh, and one more thing. The river's pretty, but fall in and Nibbles will get ya. Nibbles is the chain jump fish. Visitors sure are rare here, but they're always welcome. Make yourself at home. Thank you, man. That's a Petalburg Koopa. He seems sort of like the spokesperson for this town. I heard this guy's thinking of running for mayor. He must be more ambitious than he looks. Oh, I didn't know that. 
little bridge down here. Hey, you. Top of the morning to thy bubble I am as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. That's bubble Doesn't you know, what? Doesn't it kind of weird you out to see a talking flower? I mean, where's his head? Is it the flower part or the bulb part? Uh, the bulb part. The top is like his hair. He has no body. Uh, his head and his body are the same. I don't know. You saw hook tail on your way here? Are you sure? Big old dragon, tail like a hook? Wow, you're super duper lucky it didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If it had seen you, I'm sure it would have gobbled you up like an after dinner mint. It must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. Hey, little toad, what's up? Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks! <laughs> Shout out to my other Let's Play currently going on, Fire Emblem Co-op. Check it out! This kid sure is a fanatic. All he does is talk about video games, you notice that? I wonder if he's finished his homework for today. You know, homework's important too. <laughs> Uh, who are you? Ah, oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with moi. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the dork. Oh, 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 sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp ton. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. What a total sleaze! Let's go somewhere else, Mario. <laughs> Ew! What's he with this guy, huh? It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet-talk everybody. There, no more. Okay, okay. Hut, I am General White. I am a bob and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. That's General White, the bob -omb. I guess white bob are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. What? Oh, hey, um... Nice peach posters. Or peach drawings. Hey, uh... Well, come on in, I guess. Door's open. Oh, Hooktail? It lives atop of that old castle behind this hummock. Have you heard of the rumors? Some say lots of treasures hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but... Not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? Uh, maybe. I'm scared if I can't super guard. <laughs> and I keep trying to super guard. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, it's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. I'll say. Hey, nice badge back there, but unfortunately we can't reach it. So this is the pink house. This is where the mayor lives. We can shake his plants to get... A turtley leaf! A leaf found in Petalburg which punishes free FP. Don't let the name fool you. It's a Koopa leaf, plain and simple. Uh, oh, this guy is old. Hmm? What's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves! Here to rob and defense this old Koopa. Despicable. <laughs> Go on, do what you will, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait, you're folks looking for the crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Um, wait... Why did I hear about those Dane fiends again? Aha, I got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Of course. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all brought us of us on pin and needles. So are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? <laughs> you got it. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Of course not. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy. 
Hmm, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Indeed. Well now, Murphy, uh, it's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find this secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I do know you need the stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past this village. Get them first. Oh, yeah. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that Hooktail monster. Yeah, this is... Old guy can't hear. That's Croup, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny if he's, like, just pretending to be, like, forgetful and can't hear. His whole life is a sham. Anywho, this is the shop. The different shops in the game sell different stuff. So we still have the mushroom and the honey syrup. Mushrooms are cheaper here. We also have Mr. Softener, which softens up enemy, all enemies in battle, which decreases their defense. Uh, we have a curd shell, which gives you or your partner a uh, boost in their defense. Power box, which, well, you can see, attack all ground-bound enemies. It's like a little earthquake, not great. And then fire flower, which attacks and burns all enemies. So a lot of the stuff is cheaper than you'd find in the rogue port shop, but it's just farther out of your way. Oh, hello! Is this your first time visiting one of our wonderful shops? Then let me give you the explanation of shop points I give to all first-time customers. Customers earn one shop point for each item they buy. As you build up your points, you'll earn various prizes, including rare items. The prizes are explained inside each individual store, and that's it! Need to hear it again? No, I already explained that. Excellent! You're now free to shop, sell, or store items as you please. So it's Nifty Shop. So uh, here I'm going to store a bunch of items that I'm going to use later. So the turtle leaf for one. Horsetail... What else? Uh, and the mystery. I'm not going to use that. E yeah, storing items is useful because then you can take them out at any time. You can only store 32 items, though. Oh, hello, ladies. Hey, hey, hey! It's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters Free! This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big bad hooktail! We can't wait to see it! Okay. These are the Traveling Sisters Free. They seem to go everywhere together. They seem so ditzy, though. Do they even notice each new place they wind up in? Wow. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Goombella. Hello, you. Well, hello there! My name is Koopy Koo! It's nice to meet you! Oh my gosh! That hat, those overalls, and, and that magnificent mustache! You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monster's hook tail. Oh, if only Koops were as brave as you! Okay, I beg, I don't know about anybody else, but I've always pictured this lady as basically being the Koopa equivalent of Daisy Duck. That's Koopy Koo, a local Petalburger. She seems to be Koops' girlfriend. Gosh, she's really cute, and she seems to have a good head on her, too. Thing is, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. I guess it's a complicated relationship, but then again, what relationship is it? Who is this Koops? Koops is in here. Hey, Koops. What did you say? You mean you're actually going to Hooktail's castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. It eats people. Often. Um, it's really none of my business, but it's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. That's Koops from Petalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a cringer, you know? But he's definitely got a serious interest in Hooktail. I wonder why. Oh, you got an email. You got an email. As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox XSP. Press start, pause to access the menu, and check your email. You'll find it under important things on your gear screen. So, right here. Alright, so we have two. First, Frankly. Hello, Mario. Working hard? Professor Frankly here in e-form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this while on your journey, so check your mail often. Use the C-stick to move up and down. I actually have nothing more to say on that, so I hope you all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars, Professor Frankly. <laughs> and yep, that's a picture of Frankly throwing out one of the tattles that you can miss in the trash can. 
RDM registration, direct mail notification. Dear Mr. Mario, thanks for registering for Oakport Direct Mail RDM service. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service, published by the Oakport Restoration Committee. Well, that's nice. It's good to know people are working on the village. Hello, Lady Toad. Hey, since you're here, let me ask, how many people do you think Hooktails gobbled? All time, I mean. I heard it recently launched an, over, an old man's school two villages... Oh. I heard it recently launched an old man's school two villages over. And Coops, who lives next door, his father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. Oh, that's sad. This is Petalberg. Warm weather makes the locals laid back and happy. Wow, and talk about unique personalities. Very individualistic, to put it nicely, or not so nicely, downright kooky. Hey, you. An old stronghold called Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. This key is just to keep it out, or this gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. And that's why we need to talk to the mayor. Um, excuse me? Er, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment. Please? Oh, hey, it's Coops. What up? Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? M my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Well... Um... Oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. <laughs> Goombella just puts up with none of it. I love it. Ooh, star piece. Make sure you look it through everything in this area. You'll find stuff that really helps you out. Hey, you. Her Goombas are so obnoxious. There we go. <laughs> I love smacking him with the hammer. Oh, hey, it's a Koopa. I want to know more about that. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. <laughs> the longevity, I'm sorry. Their shells are hard, so but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. Sure enough. Works the same way they did in the original game. Give me those. Again, can't stress it enough. Check everything. There's one thing in particular I'm looking for. Ouch! Oh, darn it. Keep trying to super guard and it's not working out for me. I should probably just stop. I've been playing the game just fine without knowing about super guarding. <laughs> Hammer on the belly. Take that. I might have to use a mushroom soon. Eh. No, nothing? One coin, that was not exactly what I was looking for. There we go. Alright, come at me, Goomba. Hey, Luigi's back! Sorry for beating you up earlier. Uh, actually... Yeah, I'm good for now. I don't need to use a mushroom. I tend to hoard my items anyways. A, A. <laughs> That's for the stylish. Nice. 
Jeez. There we go. We got a pal block. I'm gonna need that. No star pieces? Okay. Ooh, this looks ominous. Hey, guys. Um, I didn't want to run out the door. I just wanted to avoid them. And get the first strike. There we go. <laughs> Nothing. All right. Uh, let's tattle on these guys. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock monster with a swarfy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max HP 2, attack is 1, and defense is 2. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack with, say, a POW block. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do, but we also could hypothetically just power smash both of them. But POW block is simplest. <laughs> Lucky! And we get 10 star points for that. That is also the only time in the entire game bald clefts appear. So if you don't tattle on them, you miss them forever. Much like pretty much any mini boss. Like the blooper and Gus, you can't get them again. Yeah, but, uh, I forgot that Koopas can zoom across very large distances. Mario is Jumpman for a reason. Oh no! <laughs> the crowd just booed me. Because I didn't get the action command right. And I forgot, yeah, if you do a successful jump on a, a Koopa while they're flipped over, it takes them an extra turn to flip back up. So you can just keep him on the ground for a long period of time. Alright, we should be able to find another POW block in this area. I hope. Otherwise we're going to have some real trouble in the next area. How dare you use that mushroom. <laughs> I really hope I find a pop block in this area, otherwise I'm doomed. Oh, I get a mushroom from that guy. Yay, good. Get back here. If you you need a pal block for this next fight. Like, I don't think you can weed win it without the pal block. These guys are nasty. They're as nasty as they look. Do not get the first strike on these guys. It's a bad idea. This is a Bristol. Once again, the only time in the game you encounter these guys. That's a Bristol. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly! Max HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 4. And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So, since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better use an item. Yep. Pow them. Later, Bristols. There are other badges and, like, special things you can get later on in the game that you can get rid of them easily, but you don't have them now! <laughs> yes, I am OCD about <laughs> getting every bush. Oh, no. Not getting the first strike on me. Oh, another opportunity to try a super guard that I will most likely fail. 
Darn it, that timing is really tight. Get back here, thank you, Fire Flower. Fire Flowers are good. And back here, you get an in coupon, a free pass lets you stay uh, one night, free night at the inn. In coupons are everywhere, and they're not great. So basically, if you have to get rid of an item, an in coupon is usually a pretty good idea. I'm gonna leave that other Paragoomba alive. Uh, never mind, I'm not! <laughs> I was planning on doing that so I could practice more Super Guards, but never mind. Okay, look how much, how many stars the audience is giving me. Like, your star gauge gets refilled so quickly. Especially if you get an even bigger audience than this. And sure enough, those are those heart blocks I was talking about earlier from the first game, but now you have to pay to use them. Really tough, that. Alright, this is the beginning of Schwonk Fortress, which we will tackle in the next episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Farty. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.